Good morning, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. So we're retiring the weekly vlog, we're yes. just gonna do persistent two-parters. Yes, we've done this for almost six years, and we just knew when it didn't feel right for us. And we're gonna figure out the, all the details and the ins and outs of things, but for now, back to daily vlogging. We're just gonna go for Mickey and Minnie's. It says it's a 40 minute wait, but we're not convinced. Because today is gonna be a miracle if the vlog audio works out. It's, yes. There's wind advisors, a tornado watch right now, high winds all day. Our muff, we lost our muff on our microphone at Disney Springs the other night, so we're gonna be bouncing between the camera and cell phone yeah. trying to so figure bear out what's with best us. for the audio to make sure it's on. <laughs> He doesn't even know what we're about to go do. Look at this kid. Oh, you get shy? He was just like screaming at plants. Yeah, it's nice, right? Want to go in the, the theater. Ooh. Ooh. Daddy, <gasps> look. It's a little different. <laughs> See the boat? Jamesy, mama, we've been waiting what, like nine minutes? Yes. Post a time of 40. Well, and we're already, call, Daddy. We're already, I saw the queue and I was like, the, it was just 40 minutes, it wasn't but the queue is not all. outside. Yeah. So sometimes you gotta pick up on that. Beautiful day on Sunset Boulevard. So we didn't do aliens. She, Teddy is asleep. The Disney Junior characters were out. So we met some of them. It's so crazy windy today. Like, we've like never experienced before. So we're having a snack, making our way to what is this? The Sun Something Something Bowl Theater? Theater of the Stars. Theater of the Stars. <laughs> to go watch Beauty and the Beast. Hopefully, get a good spot because James, James has been all yeah. about it. I love and watch Beauty and the Beast lately, so I hope it like we see it like click like it's my movie. <laughs> Once upon a time, in a faraway land, repulsed by her haggard appearance, the prince sneered at the gift and turned the old woman away and lost all hope. For who could ever learn to love a beast?
wildest imagination could have dreamed. Yeah. Through a series of strange circumstances, she found herself held captive inside a dark and foreboding castle. If we're going to do, then let's do it. Say something nice to her. Try to act like a gentleman. I, I apologize. <laughs> Apology accepted. Oh. I'm disgraced! But, and I have a plan. Someone has to protect our village. <laughs> Taking a little break in Backlot Express and matching some mac and cheese, a little dipping station, if you will. <laughs> We're with our friends oh, Jordan and Keaton. Oh, Just grabbing some. They're two of our favorite people in the whole world. They truly are. And we're glad to live here. Almost just to see that. I said this earlier that um, <laughs> selfishly I'm so grateful to have you guys back Yay! here. Um, and it's to be a little enjoying it too. Yes, little different times, seeing each other a little bit more now. That, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah We're happy. Yeah. Happy, happy. I'm trying to get to World Showcase, but fighting the wind. I had his phone off. Too many a times. We just said goodbye to our friends. Catching up, catching up, catching up, chatting. Do you want to take James on a Riviera or a ride on the Skyliner? And I said, Of course I do. <laughs> where do you do you know where we are? I wonder if he remembers where the Connect Four is. but it was such a productive day at home and yeah. we re-energizing ourselves. But I was like, it can't we can't be this close to World Showcase with this nice out and not yeah. it's like literally the, it's not it's a World Showcase afternoon. Yeah. So we had to come back. We had to.
One-on-one -on -one time with Teddy. We found a duck friend. Hello, duck. The breeze makes it comfortable, the shade makes it beautiful, and the music I hear from Canada in the background makes this unbeatable. Yeah, shake his hand. How you doing? How you doing? I'm receiving a tour of all of the frozen merchandise. We're getting some lefse and school bread because I promised James he could have some school bread and the lefse because I had no self control. Our not so quick lap around the world showcase. <laughs> We are home, we got Bluey on. I wanna show you something I got from the UK today. I got this Twinings Cold Infused flavored cold water enhancer. Um, you just put it in some cold water, let it sit for five minutes, shake it up, and drink it. So I'm gonna let you know how it goes. We didn't sign off last night, but good morning. We're so glad you're here. We did any vlogs, if you like video, keep um, this is gonna be the middle of the vlog, so I guess we have to we have to figure out the two-parter situation. But we are on our way to Jamesy's first speech therapy session with like hospital setting. Like it's not it's less of a hospital setting and more of a like rehab therapy. That's what it is. Um, but this will be like kind of in addition to what we're doing through the state, which also starts this week. So. Um, we're excited. The sessions are like shorter and like more play focused and not in our house, which is different. Yeah. Um, so I'll let you know how it goes. All right, we're done with speech therapy evaluation day one. Yes. How'd it go? Great. We're getting started in two weeks because of like insurance and stuff because it is more like medical side. Yeah. Um, twice a week. Yeah. It'll be great. James was like not, he like, he likes to play what he wants to play, and it's a little hard when it's boring evaluation stuff, but he liked the facility, so I'm hopeful for like the actual therapy. Yeah. Here's a quick throwback to people who've been around since the first time we lived in Florida. What do the Brookhards do when they have day fulls, days full of medical stuff? Mark it on south. Mark it on south. Back to our stomping grounds, and this is Teddy's first time here. He has not been here yet. Wait a minute, think that the hot bakery is open. Wait, I think it is. I just saw somebody walk in the front. Okay, let's go to the front. Should we try this one? <laughs> so silly. Oh, it smells like, it smells, it smells like, like, like home. Like, like, IVF. Okay, let's go to We got some sweet treats for classic Market on South Miss, but we also got special ones because it's James's half birthday. Happy Thank you. you. Alright, so we got a breakfast puff and a pizza puff, plant based, yeah. to have with our sweet treats. We're a little bummed. But Dixie Dharma still exists, it's just not here. Right, so we'll have to and go so check like out. And so like seeing that empty, like that was like more, like more sad than like not getting what we want. Like I wanted lunch. Like, right, wanted well we're going to look up when the new, because they're moving, yeah. Dixie Dharma's moving to a new location yeah, in there Maine. Also, there might even still be one in the other cities, like Sanford. And, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I just think this location may move in. Yeah. There's an airport nearby. Today is May 1st. Airplane! So what if the new one opened up today? Yeah, but we also have my mammogram today, yeah. so we'll be in another area if we're still hungry. Starving, because I'm starving. <laughs> um, but this should be good for until then. Fabulous news, everybody. My mammogram and ultrasounds were totally negative, perfectly normal. Um, so yeah, 
fabulous news. I love when you get results on the spot. That's so great. Um, and so now we we only ate like a little bit at uh, Market and South. So we're gonna go to the East End Market and grab some actual food. Now that took a little bit longer than we had hoped. Teddy's actually snoozing. Um, so it's almost like dinner time. <laughs> First, before we stop there, we are going to go drive past our fertility clinic and wave hello to our embryos. That we have four embryos that are still are still hanging out there. Uh, Peter's also taking us by our old apartment. All right, we're all out of the car. We made it safe and sound to East End Market. We got Domo. We got Gideon's here. That's where you go if you want, don't want to wait in a ridiculously long line for Gideon's. And what do we get? Winter Park Biscuit Co. Yes. And now look, no line. Walking right up. Hot biscuits. All right, Winter Winter Park Biscuit Co. had some coloring sheets. I feel like the stochi wasn't here last time we were here. Yeah. There's your hibiscus. Oh yeah. But here's this deliciousness. It's plant based. Oh, we got. Pinkly fancy meats. Look at this ghost chili bacon. Yeah. And then of course, don't know if we'll be getting some today, but the Gideon's outpost here, no line whatsoever. Someone found mom's delicious hibiscus tea. <laughs> and somebody else woke up from their nap. Sarah came out from the restroom with our food. What a nice surprise. Yeah. I got biscuits and gravy. That looks so divinity. Goodness. I got an impossible burger, which I'll show in a minute. Uh, so like they're known for their biscuits and their chicken, but I've heard you can't sleep on the burger. And so I, we haven't never tried it, so it is impossible. And James got a box of like strips and fries and a biscuit. Mm -hmm. All plant-based. <laughs> it's a new skill. He was down on your drink. Here's my burger. I put their gator sauce on it. Pretty divine. What's your review? Vegan brunch party. I think we're gonna have to hit that up. I also think this thing puffs. I might have to check that out. May 18th, 1920, and then 2021. Good afternoon. We are so happy that you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, we hope that you will come back tomorrow. I am out running a couple of errands. It's kind of been like a weird, a weird day. Um, I don't know, one of those days where like everything just like takes a little extra like effort to get through or like everything turns into more and more steps. But anywho, um, I'm eating Target, some groceries, cause we're gonna have some friends over for dinner tomorrow. Um, just like a couple of extra things that I needed. Um, I'm on the search for the summer Red Bull. It was supposed to be in this pickup order and then I got a notification that when it was ready that that was the only thing they didn't have. Um, but I am going to CVS to pick up a prescription. I changed from Walgreens to CVS. If you know, you know. Um, so I'm gonna pick up that and hopefully, hopefully the Red Bull will be there. And that's it, that's all the errands are doing, but the boys were snoozing, so it was just the perfect time for me to get out for a little short drive, get some fresh air, um, listen to some music, you know, you know? I don't know, I'm, we're, we're car people. So like, we like a road trip, I like a car drive. Um, and so I feel like it's already boosted my spirits a bit. Um, yeah. I'll, hopefully, hopefully I'll find that Red Bull. Hooray! I found it. CVS Red Bull Summer Edition Jewelry. All right, I'm gonna do a little taste test. It's good. I definitely like. I'm a big fan of the blueberry flavor Red Bull. And this is Juneberry. It's kind of similar, just with like a little extra 
zingy, like almost like citrusy to it. I would say it's not anything like different or like unique, but it's just like tried and true delicious. And so I'm a fan. A little bit of traffic, but I also got a big thing of <laughs> these mini Kit Kat um, candies. I'm gonna jam out to some Dear Evan Henson because I haven't done that in a while. And we're gonna we're gonna turn this we're gonna turn this foggy day around. <gasps> I am home and I'm starting up dinner. I'm gonna make some sort of like veggie situation, maybe with some sausage. I got some sausage the other day. Um, and the simmer sauce, I'll show you. But I'm starting with potatoes. They take the longest to cook. This is the sauce. I got it from Publix. I've never seen this brand before. Um, so I'll let you know how it is. We aren't going to put chicken in it. I am going to put it over veggies. This does have milk in it, so it is not plant-based. Um, but, like, I'm going to add to the potatoes peppers, yeah. onions, and a tomato. Um and chickpeas and so like it'll be it'll be a vegetarian portion of the meal i do think i'm gonna make these sausages though too they are chicken sausage from publix again um chipotle with monterey jack and so yeah we only have three of them so i figure we'll make a hearty little stir fry with the simmer sauce and have these on the side with rice here are my prepared veggies i try to prepare stuff during jamesy's nap for dinner um but anywho, I always love to throw a tomato in basically everything. Everything I make, I'm like, what does this need? And it's usually tomato. Um, even though it's like so juicy, it usually just like falls into everything and you can't really like pick pieces of tomato out. It just gives it that delicious extra oomph to it. So big juicy tomato, all of the juices too. Make sure you get all the juices. Um, half an onion, a full red pepper, and an orange pepper. The simmer sauce will have a lot of yumminess to it but you should always season as you cook um so i added garlic and pepper to this to the to the veggies then i'm also going to add in this traeger veggie rub if you are curious what's in it it's not very specific spices natural flavor that could be anything um but that's the vibe hey teddy You big cash. You still in your jams? And here is dinner. I decided to do it with noodles instead of rice. And yeah, that's all there is to it. The sauce is so delish. I'm very happy with it. So highly recommend if you shop at Publix. Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We, we daily vlog. But we keep on forgetting to sign off. So if you're not in this video, make sure you come back every day, especially because today was a very Brookhart Project classic day because yes. we had an establishment visit, virtual visit, with our doctor from our fertility clinic. Yes! Oh my gosh. Do you want to be a big sibling? He already, well, he kind of is a little and a big sibling. Our embryos have existed since 2019 so technically teddy's younger than them but they will have been born after so he'll be a big sibling he'll be a, little, he'll be a little big sibling, <laughs> big sibling. um there goes so james. yeah we said jamesy we had actually just talked about in our recent live stream that like we've been thinking about this um and that we hadn't made any moves yet so Sarah was saying there, we're, we're, we're throwing this back and forth between each other because the kids are, they were doing so good during the, like the 40 minute telehealth visit with both of us on there that now they're like, we want attention, we want to play. But we decided because as we've, we've always brought you guys along the journey that these things take time. They always take longer than you want, than you expect. And already, I know, and I, we came out of that visit thinking like, Oh, like I thought it was going to be, we're doing our due diligence. We're going to get some blood tests done to make sure Sarah's hormone levels are good, to make sure. Um, I, he wants me to have blood tests, which is funny because we're using embryos that have existed, but I'm going to do everything I need to. It's the protocol. But he already was like, all right, we've got to get these tests, these hormone levels balanced. And then Sarah's got to go, I forgot what the word was. He wants me to like. What's the oscopy? Oh, hysteroscopy. He, he, she needs a hysteroscopy to make sure there's no like 
placenta shards left. There's no scar, <laughs> no no scarring in the uterus. Polyps, polyps. Like, sir, like the uterus is like ready. For but like that's baby. a whole cycle to prep in itself, right? Yeah. So like the main thing was like he wants me to be active for three months, like thirty minutes every of day. cardio a day, every day for three months to get like my heart healthy, <laughs> to get just like all of that is connected, like with hormones and such. So like that's the best odds yeah. for the transfer yeah. and that's what we always prioritize yeah. it, um it was so funny when the, and he he did his so this is like the third time we've gone through this spiel with him and we love our doctor um and our whole facility and, and healthcare group um but he's always provided he's the reason essentially why we went plant-based he advocates for a mediterranean diet high protein high low carb high vegetables high fruit but even the like not high protein like emphasis not like you're eating steak every day but like Fish, lighter meats, but nuts. not a lot of nuts, lots of fruits and vegetables. And so, like, it was funny to hear him say that, that exact same spiel that's changed a little bit over the years. And my mind instantly changed. Like, you guys have been in this journey. I remember running on Park Avenue before we went back to Chicago with me struggling with running. And then Chicago struggling with running and eating well. And back here, now we're like, okay, we're going to do it. And then I hear Dr. Loy say that. And I'm like, it's doctor ordered. We got to do it now. Like, it's funny, like, is this going to be the thing that Sarah and I need to be like every single day eating good? No McDonald's midnight except for French fries after visits, doctor appointments um, to really kick our, our behinds in the gear. But it was just it was so great. He has a beard yeah. now. Did you yeah. notice that? Mm -hmm. I almost, almost mm -hmm. wanted to say something. Then. Yeah. But, uh, he's so great. The plan is still to transfer one embryo. Um, and what else was like the big thing? We were toying with the idea of having them tested just to like genetically tested give because we did not have ours tested because we were part of a study, if you don't recall or if you're new, um, that we could not have them tested because we essentially got free IVF through the study. We had, we had plenty to pay for, but it wasn't as extreme because yeah. of the study. Um, and so, um, I asked about that and to like. To test them, you have to thaw them, test and refreeze, and like it lose like the strength of the embryo and like the prob probability of sticking also goes down. He said about fifteen percent. Yeah, and so he said with like the grades of our embryos, my embryos are what twenty six years old. Like the embryo, yeah, he said like they're, they're considered the age that Sarah was when the embryos were created. So even yeah. though it's been five years since. It's not like um, those those embryos are five years older. They're yeah. frozen in time at that yeah, four years. Yeah, so. four years. Yeah. So so they're um, very healthy. They're a really great sign. And they, he said even if we did it today, like we still are on the younger side of fertility yeah. treatments. Well, he he said that we were like his youngest, like current patients. Gotcha. We were twenty five, yeah. um, because people do IVF for like lots of reasons. Right, right. Um, but he said so, that you wouldn't. He doesn't. His his group medical group doesn't even advise genetic testing until you're thirty five or older. Yeah. And so and that, those were like our big questions and it was nice yeah. to show him, show him the boys. He sees him as Rachel over there. Um, so yeah, big day, kind of like spur of the moment because we didn't mention it. Yeah. Kind of in. It was a lot. It was a spur of the moment for you guys. And to us, it was kind of like we got up later, or Sarah got up earlier with James. <laughs> I slept in with Teddy. And then it was kind of like up and all of a sudden I'm like, oh my gosh, we have to talk to Dr. Lloyd <laughs> in five minutes. Yeah. Like... It's so wild. It's like like exciting, it but it's also still a huge, it brings you back to old emotions. It's yeah. a huge conversation. So it's adding to our family. Yeah. It's a lot. Yeah. It's, a, yeah. it's, it's exciting. It's exciting. <laughs> All right, here's our lunch. We got it from the Cuban Cafe. We got a coffee. Oh my gosh, and that banana potato fry. I got a triple letto. Ooh, that's Sarah's. Then I got something that I wouldn't suspect. A pastrami. All right, all right. The work day is over. We're here to say. <laughs> We're putting James to work. Get to coloring, Jamesy. Get these postcards rolling. He's doing this thing where he's like just coloring over no, the description. So this is the beginning of our, our latest American Cancer Society fundraiser where we're going to uh, put our children to work <laughs> and make them work for the accolades of the American Cancer Society. In our defense, he loves it. Yeah. <laughs> he anyways. He's just getting a hoot out of seeing all the different... These are so beautiful. I didn't show them on the other Do one. we have extras? Can we like get some framed? <gasps> no way. Look at this. 
<gasps> no, I need that frame next to my bed. Go that one's okay. That one's cute. We're having pasta tonight. We're banishing mom upstairs to edit another vlog. Yes. Our plans for tonight change. We're gonna have company. We're not anymore, but we're still, like it's still made. Theronis. Teddy learned how to blow a whistle. Eric Kazoo. And it's like we're wrapping up like getting this new schedule situated so that tomorrow we can start like, and my work has been crazy so like usually i'm able to like kind of be around the kids some in between meetings and like help out more during the day wouldn't you say yeah but like my work has been really busy we've got this huge project coming to light in june um i'm hiring two different positions and i've been doing tons of interviews so if you're a data analyst like hey go to wyndham careers when travel and leisure careers .com, check it out i'm hiring an analyst and a specialist for my teams um as well as like do you guys recall every spring i always talk about this huge project that my company does and for some reason i am one of the three people that like always get pulled back into it that like we can't get it done unless me and like these two other people are basically involved just because we've been doing it for now multiple years in a row we kind of know the ins and outs that's going on and that's always like crunch time, like from the moment I wake up to the moment I'm done working, it's like, this is happening. That's Teddy <laughs> with the, the little whistle. What I was trying to say is, so my work's been a little busy. And so it like gets to be five o'clock, we we're eating and it's just like, it's been a day. Yeah, do you like that? Thank you. You're welcome. Sounds like you said thank you. It's a pig! It's a pig! <laughs> what is that? Oh, yeah, it's a bok bok, it's a chicken. <laughs> All right, took the kids for a nice walk. Teddy ate dinner, James did not. We went on the walk. Now James is eating dinner. While Sarah's editing, it's gonna be a good night. Why are you yelling at me, Teddy? He's having a little blackberry snack. <laughs> Called my buddy Steve. We were talking about fundraising for Disneyland, talking about running. I just emailed Jessica, our contact for ACS Chicago Marathon, about getting signed up for Chicago Endurance Sports fun tra training program. Not every ACS event is made the same. For Chicago Marathon, they partner with, I think, two or maybe three different training groups that get you, if you fundraise and join team determination for Chicago Marathon. You get to actually join one of their training schedules and they have virtual options, in-person options, all the different neighborhoods of Chicago. You need more another Blackberry? There you go, baby. So what's cool is we plan to be in Chicago for the month of September through Chicago Marathon. And there's a big weekend called the 20 miler weekend and I'll be able to participate that in person. So I was, I was emailing Jessica, our contact for Chicago Marathon, being like, hey, she saw that we did the postcards and we're getting started on those today. Um, was talking about that and I was like, hey, can you get me signed up for Chicago Endurance Sports, which is the one I did before virtually. But I'm excited for this to be like hybrid. Black, blackberries, blackberries, boo, boo, boo. Blackberries, blackberries, boo, boo, boo. Blackberries. Uh oh. Ready, Ringo? This is gonna be fun. I'm doing this for my kids. Oh. Wow. Kids are asleep. We're getting the first floor ready for tomorrow morning because we have James's first early steps like therapy session and finishing up the vlog. We're back. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, this is a four-parter, which is like goofy. <laughs> um, but tomorrow, tomorrow's the day. Back at it with the, the two parters. 
It's good, good to be, be home. home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>